What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. A little bit of a weird setup today. I'm actually having to hold the camera in order to film this. Uh, but I am taking apart the Creality K1 to do some manual bed leveling and I thought that it may be worth sharing this with some people in case they've never manually bed leveled a K1. Um, I'm doing it a little differently than uh, Creality's telling me to do it, mainly because I tried it their way like eight times and it's still not working. Sorry, this thing's like super loud, so hopefully you'll be able to still hear me. So what you guys see right now is the underside of the K1. This belt's actually moving right now because I am currently doing the uh, self-leveling that it does, the auto-leveling. It is great. The self-leveling on this thing is amazing, but what it can't do is compensate for the bed being unlevel. Um, so I've seen a lot of people do like shims. I've seen a lot of people do what I'm basically what I'm doing now or like a modified version of it. But I want to talk through uh, how the leveling works on this thing and how I've been able to successfully or almost successfully get a perfect bed level. I'm still working through it right now, as you can tell, to get the perfect bed level. So what you see here is you got three different lead screws. You've got two in the front and then the one in the back here. And they're all ran on this same belt. Basically what you have to do is uh, take your Allen wrench that came with the printer and unscrew these things right here to lower the belt tension. This lowers the belt tension. You take your finger on this one in the front part here and squeeze it to lower the belt tension and then take the belt off the back uh, lead screw. So once it's off the, the stepper motor back there, you should be good to go to start doing some manual bed leveling. Um, what I like to do is I like to use the mesh and I'll put an overlay up so you can see right now what the, the leveling looks like from the printer dashboard, the, the mesh. I like using that as a way to kind of understand, okay, how do I need to move this in order to get this to work correctly? So before this was a little lower and this was a little too high. So I basically raised this up a little bit, which is going to take the opposite side and lower it down. Little helpful hint uh, is make sure that you lay the printer on the left side. That way you can just take this bottom part here and just flip it over on the printer. And yes, you can run bed leveling and everything while the printer is on its side. It does not matter if it is correctly uh, uh, oriented or not. That's not how bed leveling works. Honestly, you could probably run these things completely upside down and they would be fine. So this is a process. It's taken me a little bit to get down. It seems to be working a little better. Actually, I just finished, so we're gonna go check and see how it looks now. But it seems to be leveling a little better by doing this process. If this wasn't very in-depth enough, let me know and I'll try to explain it a little, a little differently. But just something to think about is when you're making any changes to any of these uh, uh, stepper motors, lead screws, um, you need to make sure that that belt is off. Because if you're turning one on the right hand side and the belt's, belt is still on, then it's going to move all the other ones too and it's not gonna change anything. So uh, yeah, make sure you take off that belt and you screw it back on before you run the bed leveling. Hey, if you're getting any value from this video, can you take a second to go like it and maybe even subscribe if you wanna see more of this content? Thanks, let's get back to it. So before I refresh, this is where we're at. We were at 0 0.188 in the back here, and then in the bottom right corner, we were at point, negative 0 0.26. So let's refresh and hopefully I didn't make it worse and I made it better. Oof, okay, so the front, is a little high now. Something to think about too is it, it shows it like this. You need to make sure that you're reading these numbers down here at the bottom. So uh, like the x-axis, for instance, you wanna make sure that it reads from left to right, so zero to 250, uh, and you should be good there. It's a little high up here, so I need to, to back it off down here, on, or I need to back it off on the right-hand side. That should fix this in the back, and Man, once I do that, I may be able to just to lift up the back and we should be good to go. I wanna get, because so essentially this point and this point matter most because there's only one lead screw to mess with the back. So if we can get the front perfectly level, we should just be able to raise the back and be good to go. So in order to make that change, I'm just going to flip off the switch here. I haven't even bothered with unplugging it recently because uh, doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna unscrew this again. So lower the belt tension. And I like to lower it to the point to where these bolts are just barely higher than the little plastic piece. So take this with my fingers, push them in, and then take this opposite side here and move it off. Now I can adjust this up here with no issues. So I'm gonna take it and lower it just a shade. Matter of fact, 
Paul got it off. I'll go ahead and raise the back a little bit. So now that we got those changes, take the belt and try to loop it around this. Perfect. Belt's back on. And now tighten this back up. Super simple process, um, but it can be very tedious depending on how off your bed is. And you could probably do the paper trick with this too, by the way. This is just how I started on it. I may end up doing the paper trick in the long run, but um, I seem to be making a little bit of progress with this. So, And one thing that I read online is you always want to start the bed leveling from the display here. If you start it remotely, apparently it's a different type of bed leveling and it's just not as accurate. That may be a bunch of BS, I don't know. But yeah, this is how I'm doing it. it takes a second to boot up. Then we go to settings here, self-check. Auto level, start detection, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so it just finished. Let's see how accurate we were. All right, let's see the progress we made. Let me refresh this here. Oh my God, look at that bed. That's almost perfect. Honestly, I may just leave leave it here for now. Like, that is, that's pretty solid. That is pretty much spot on. Keep in mind that these beds, like once they heat up, they do change form just a little bit too. Um, the auto bed leveling is supposed to account for that, but you know, this is this is pretty good guys. So it's a little later in the night. Uh, first print after that looks great. Um, definitely think that this is the way to manually level the bed. I'm sure that Creality's way that they tell you how to do it would work great. Um, for a lot of people, but for some reason, my bed just needed that extra little care. So hopefully if you have a Creality K1 and you're having the same issues, this video helped you out. Uh, if you're interested in getting a K1, you can find the links down in the description. Thanks so much for checking out today's video, guys. We'll see you next time.